All right, I wanted to make a quick video lesson before the end of the year, just talking about all the hottest plays that are happening right now. Uh, RWLK was in my watch list today as a potential short, and it had its first down day. I gave a pretty good short alert uh, in the 1550, 1560 range. After hours, it's already down to 1512. Tomorrow, I fully expect this to go down to the 14s, if not the 13s. And congrats to all you shorts. I did not have the best entry today. Um, a lot of students did better than me. So here are my trades today. I made a few hundred on RWLK uh, and a few hundred on EARS. EARS was another potential short straight out of my watch list. Um, and again, I, I covered this one too uh, safely. I was shorting it into this mess here in the 450s, and we got a nice downtrend all the way to the 420s. Uh, by the end of the close, but I had covered safely. And I bring this up because I was on the dead right track, perfectly positioned with my trades, with my watch list, and I played both of them safely. And that's why, you know, when you look at my trades, I don't want you to think that, oh, this is impossible to achieve. I want you to think, Tim is always going to play it safe, or at least if he's, you know, in his right <laughs> mindset, he's going to play it safe. I often play things too safely. Uh, RWLK, I'm already regretting covering. But guess what? It's okay to play it too safe, especially if you have profits like this. And, you know, we are kind of in a, a choppy market. And the reason why I've made such good profits this year on just a small account is because I lock in profits and I play it safe. Remember, the overall markets are slightly down this year. That means all these long-term investors, all these people with suits and ties who go on TV and they say value and growth and invest in good companies, they're basically break-even or down. And if you actually include inflation, they're probably down between 5 and 10% on their money, which is pathetic. Uh, you know, I'm closing in at roughly 200% on average between my accounts. Some of my accounts are better than others. My E-Trade account, I'll do a video lesson uh, before year-end, is up nearly 500% this year. Um, but it's all about locking in profits and focusing on patterns that work. Uh, I got to bring this up. You know, we have these newsletters on sale, 30, 40, 50% off. We teach the same strategies, the same patterns that work time in, time out. You know, Connor, just a teenager, he's made nearly $400,000. Superman, he's up, I want to say, 1.3, 1.4 million in 2015. Triforce just passed over a million. If you look at these DVDs that are on sale, 40, 50, 70%. A lot of people are like, Tim, why do you push these so hard? You just want us to watch these DVDs. You're damn right I do because we teach the same exact patterns that we trade every single day. A lot of you guys see me get into a trade and you're like, wait, how, how did you know? Like what? Well, guess what? It's in these DVDs that you're too lazy to watch. You know, EARS shorting it here on the second big up day. Guess what? If you had seen my Penny Stocking Part 2 DVD right here, you would know about the second green up day and how the third day usually never holds green. So I was shorting in anticipation of tomorrow being a red day. And if you watch my Penny Stocking Part 2 DVD, you understand these patterns. This is six hours or maybe it's eight hours. I don't even know. I show all the patterns. This is my highest rated DVD of them all but you need to study. And I also brought this up today. REXI now 514. I definitely underestimated it for my buy last week in the 440s. And I said, phew, congrats to Longs with Patience. This is what I love about trading. I bought this last week and you know, a lot of people said that it wouldn't continue to go up. I knew better. I, I mean, I didn't know perfectly because I sold it last week, but I knew better that it was a stock to buy. And this was a potential buy in my watch list before the market even opened. Probably should have bought the uh, dip right here in the 450s near the market open and, you know, another 70 cents a share of profits today because billionaire plays have legs. This is in my How to Make Millions DVD. Uh, where is it? Right here. And it's also going to be in my spikeability DVD, which I'm working on and should be finished any day now. So if you study these DVDs, if you study these video lessons, you're better prepared. And that is what I want from you. You know, I also tweeted this. I said, if you hate your job slash financial situation, especially on Mondays, use that anger as motivation to study hard to change your life. 
Uh, that's what this is all about, you know? Yes, so you, you want to say I'm pushing DVDs? You're damn right I am because these DVDs can change your life if you learn the strategies and the patterns. And I want to give you a few examples. Here's Harold. He got into REXI when you alerted, held until today in at 460. And if you actually click the link, he commented on the bottom of my trade. I, I made only a few percent. Well, this was actually, this was, uh, he commented on my EARS trade. I only made like 2%, which is pathetic. There was a good 10% to make there. Um, but this was uh, Abra saying he got into REXI when I alerted uh, in at 460 on the 24th, out today at 520. So he made 15% with 1,000 shares. He made 600 bucks. So just knowing that, you know, guess what? Billionaire plays can keep running made him a few hundred bucks. Harold. Good job. Congrats. I also get to give props to this trading Swede, Jonas. He actually is one of my most dedicated students. He came uh, to my Madrid meetup from Sweden, and he had a great trade on FXCM. You can see here, uh, he bought it early, he sold it pretty well, and he made $1,500. Freaking awesome. And he gave me some nice cufflinks, as is the tradition in his country. So thank you, Jonas, for the cufflinks. I'm actually wearing them uh, for an event in, in a few nights. But I'm more proud the fact that, you know, you made 1500 bucks. That's awesome. When you make 600 bucks or 1500 I split the difference between these two, two students. I made nearly 1000 today. And one student made more than me. One student made less. But we're all profiting. We're all learning. Here is, oh, I just closed Rodrigo. I'm sorry, Rodrigo. I had all these tweets saved. Um, here is Fabio. I love this. Fabio says, uh, F an awesome trade on RWLK straight from your How to Make Millions DVD watching you trade live has no price. This is RWLK. Again, I believe this is going to be a big, big loser tomorrow. Kind of wish that I was uh, still short overnight, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be there at the market open tomorrow. So I just wanted to lock in, save profits. Um, just a, a great downtrend all day. And this was my number one potential short straight out of my watch list. So if you connect the watch list to the video lessons, to the DVDs, it's all the same patterns. It's all the same strategy. And I misplays, you know, FXCM, a lot of you guys banked on today and I totally missed it because frankly, I was just overwhelmed catching up with emails and there's so many plays right now. So FXCM was a huge runner and a lot of people made money on the long and on the short. And that's cool. I don't, I'm not going to capture every single trade. Um, I'm trying to show you a few trades here or there where I think that I can profit and you can profit. But I'm going to miss trades. Here's Envy Trader. says, shout out to the guru FXCM with the How to Make Millions DVD. is fantastic. He made 400 bucks, So he made more money than the whole DVD costs. And he has that knowledge forever, uh, which is just awesome. So this is, this is a cool thing. Uh, stocks to trade. A lot of you guys have emailed about, we're beta testing with just a, a few dozen people right now. We have roughly 100 people beta testing it. Uh, if you email admin at timothysykes.com, you can get in on the beta. But Skull5005 said this, uh, watching REXI now, and there's an 8K seller on Stocks to Trade. That's not on the Thinkorswim level two. What a great program. And you're going to find this. You know, We've spent several months and several hundred thousand dollars building, rebuilding Stocks to Trade from scratch, and we have an advantage over other traders who use lesser programs. Um, it's pretty cool, and here's just one example. So thank you, Skull, for pointing that out. I also got to give props to so many people. Uh, Kaimai Flow dip bought TXMD in the tens, and he sold for like 25 cents a share. If you remember, I was telling you guys for the past few weeks to watch this multi-year breakout at nine. Um, in 940 and I was buying it a little too early but you can still play these multi-year breakouts um, this is awesome bulls trade uh, bulls trader FXCM uh, in 2500 shares at 1278 out at 1388 made like 2800 in three minutes or so um, and then it hit 16 uh, 10 minutes later and so it's okay if you lock in 2800 dollars you know nearly a thousand dollars a minute it's okay to sell too soon. That's awesome. Uh, here's Sheer Infinity. Uh, made a thousand bucks shorting EARS, a little more than me. Uh, D. Caulfield uh, still holding his EARS short, and he's up a few hundred. Uh, Adbash uh, made like 
I don't know, what is that, 22 cents times 200, so 40 bucks, but that's okay because it doesn't matter where you start with your account size, it's a question of learning. And he learned this and you know he has 200 shares right now, but maybe in a year he'll have 2,000 shares or 20,000 shares and it's the exact same trade up to a point. Obviously my strategy is only scalable to a point, that's why I teach. That's why, you know, frankly, I think there's so much opportunity because it's it's small amounts of money compared to what most people aim for on Wall Street. So you don't have the competition of Wall Street trading these kinds of stocks in these patterns because they don't give a shit about making 2800 or 1000 or 500 and I know that 99% of the world does. So there's the opportunity. Uh, here's Abra. Um, oh, that was his comment, you know, shorting... Uh, what was it? EARS at 449 out at two out at 423. Uh, itsy, the itsy bitsy spider shorted at 447, covered at 426. Small position and profit. Uh, this one I love. This is from Hudson Trades. He says, "Hey Tim, just want to thank you for the extra confidence on ears today. I opened up a starter position in the 490s today and added into it once I saw you jump on board. Ended up covering at 426, 6,000 shares, about 3,400 dollars in profit." So I want you to look at this, you know, Hudson Trades is making a few thousand, Itsy Bitsy Spider is making a little bit, you know, Abra is making a little bit, Mad Bash is making a little bit. We're all trading it slightly different. Uh, we're not definitely not trading together like some chat rooms and newsletters and gurus do. Um, but it's having a good idea of what the pattern is and where the opportunity is. Um, and I love this Hudson trades continued. He says, I love the feeling you get when you plan out a trade and it works out exactly as planned. And what I love even more when you're in the middle of your trade and your mentor goes into the same trade with the exact same plan. So you throw an extra 2000 shares at 459. Thanks for the 600 cherry on top. So he was already in the trade long before I was. And that's what I love when students start doing better than me and start recognizing the opportunities before me. I am not the end all be all. I make countless mistakes. I miss so many trades. I'm excited to trade with just $12,000 in a few days for 2016, but don't feel pressured that I'm like this perfect trader. I make tons of mistakes. All I'm trying to do is show you where there are opportunities. Don't ever follow my alerts. Don't ever follow alerts from anybody. Learn from every single trader what they do right, what they do wrong, and learn to create your own plan. That's why all my millionaire students are self-sufficient. You know, Tim Grittani doesn't need me anymore. Michael Good doesn't need me anymore. Several other millionaire students don't even like talking to me because I tell them to go public and they want their privacy. So don't feel the need to, you know, follow our trades exactly. See how we create a plan. Why did I short EARS? Why did I short RWLK? Why was I buying REXI? I was dead on on all three of them. I played all three of them too safely and yet I profited on all of them. So what are the lessons from that? So these are just a few people. I know that there's a lot more uh, that I'm missing, but you know, I'm just overwhelmed today uh, with so many students. Stocks to Trade is kicking it. We have these holiday sales. A lot of you guys are asking me about it. Get on these holiday sales. My two main newsletters, Tim Alerts and Penny Stocking Silver, will be going up in price in 2016 to weed out some of the people who just want hot stock picks and they're not so serious about their education. Uh, all of these traders are on fire right now. These DVDs are must watch, especially now during the holidays. You know, we have, what is this? We have another uh, Friday off, I think, this, this week. Um, so you have extra time to study. That is how you should look at days off from the market. You know, this is not something where you could just be lazy and, and not study and just wait for whatever hot stock is working. If you do that, you're going to have a disadvantage. The success of all these students that I just quoted comes down to preparation. You know, I think the best comment of the day is this from Hudson Trades where he says, I love the feeling you get when you plan out a trade and it works out exactly as planned. Just think about that. Okay, and mind you, he was in the trade before I was. He spotted it before I was. Obviously, I laid out the potential trade in the watch list, and the watch list comes out before the market opens, but he executed his own trades. He did it self-sufficiently. It worked out perfectly. He even had more patience than me. He got in before me. He got out after me. He had a much bigger profit than me, and I love hearing about that because the $4.3 million that I've made in the market is nowhere near best-case scenario. Uh, if you stick with this, I'm not saying you're going to make $4.3 million all at once, 
but studying does pay off. If you study all these DVDs, and these DVDs are a few hundred bucks, you know, you just have to value your education and see where the education will take you. You know, we have nearly a thousand traders in the chat room every day now. There are stocks flying left and right, up and down. You got to be prepared, and it comes down to preparation. I'll see you in the chat room, chat room tomorrow, and uh, have a good night.